Did you know that the sale of electronic cigarettes is prohibited in some countries? And this prohibition and regulation have become increasingly common among governments, all based on studies showing the destructive potential to the health of people who use vapes. In today's video, we're going to discuss whether it makes sense to ban electronic cigarettes. Are they really a safer alternative to traditional cigarettes? With the ease of buying a vape at the nearest corner store, wouldn't it be better to legalize them and control the quality of what's being sold? Leave a comment below if you have ever used any type of electronic cigarette or know someone who does. To determine if it makes sense to ban the sale of a product that is said to be safer than traditional cigarettes, we need to understand the real differences between traditional and electronic cigarettes. Electronic cigarettes, introduced in 2003, are small devices filled with a liquid composed mainly of water, glycerin, and propylene glycol. This liquid can contain flavors, artificial aromas, and, in some cases, nicotine. The magic of electronic cigarettes happens when the device's heating element warms the liquid, turning it into vapor that is inhaled. This vaporization process is the main difference between electronic cigarettes and traditional ones, which produce smoke through the combustion of tobacco. The vapor from electronic cigarettes dissipates more easily than smoke and does not produce fire or ashes. Therefore, vapes are often tolerated in public spaces, even indoors. Another difference is the taste and smell. Traditional cigarettes leave a strong, often unpleasant odor and taste, while electronic cigarettes offer a variety of artificial flavors, ranging from mint and tropical fruits to delicious desserts. These options make smoking a personalized and attractive experience, especially for young people. In conventional cigarettes, the burning of tobacco produces a series of toxic substances that cause serious health problems, such as cardiovascular diseases and cancer. That's why traditional cigarettes are so harmful. On the other hand, electronic cigarettes do not have combustion. So, theoretically, they are just a seemingly harmless liquid. However, studies are beginning to show that when some components of the liquids in electronic cigarettes are inhaled or vaporized, they can be very dangerous. One of the concerning additives is diacetyl, which can cause a severe lung disease. Additionally, harmful chemical substances can be formed when flavorings are heated along with the glycerol present in most electronic cigarettes. One of these substances is formaldehyde, which is carcinogenic and can cause respiratory problems and irritation. Researchers have also identified particles of heavy metals, such as chromium, nickel, lead, and cadmium in the liquids and vapors of electronic cigarettes, in quantities higher than those considered safe. These health risks raise an important discussion about the regulation of electronic cigarettes. It is based on various studies that many countries maintain the prohibition of the commercialization of these devices. But is this the best decision? With so many people using them, wouldn't it be better to legalize and control the quality of electronic cigarettes sold? This would even allow the collection of taxes that could be directed to treat the diseases that electronic cigarettes might eventually cause. So, do you think the prohibition of electronic cigarettes is the best solution? Leave your comment and subscribe to the channel for more science-based discussions. Let's continue this conversation and reflect on whether it makes sense to prohibit or maintain the prohibition of electronic cigarettes. A big hug and see you in the next video.